Total Warfare here, we are continuing our Kush campaign. We made decent progress last few turns, we crushed two Egyptian stacks and took Mio's Hormos from them, which fixed our food situation, but they have another stack uh, right at our doorstep with five pikemen, which looks uh, probably the strongest from what we faced so far. We have our crab stack here, a third made of uh, crappy slave infantry and the other ones are level 1 units, but uh, we have numbers on our side, so we're going to bring her in to reinforce and attack with our queen. Let's go for it. Okay, odds are in our favor, perhaps because we have 500 men more and double elephant. We can get uh, victory with 74 remaining, but we know very well the elephants will get obliterated and so will our desert calf, so we're going to fight this one manually instead. Alright, what are they up to? That's a line of pikemen, slinger up front, probably the other two pikes are in the, in the forest and his double light calf is on this side and the crappy Egyptian infantry is on, in a second line. Okay, so we are going to put our elephant here to match his cavalry and one of our spears, the other spear will go the other way. We can put our archers up front, we have more archers than they have shooters, so we should be favored here. These guys slightly behind them. Our main line will be swords and we'll put this crap on flanks because they have no holding power in uh, battles, they have no armor and barely any melee defense, but they still have decent weapon damage, so if we flank with them, they can do a little bit of damage. And let's do it. Okay, everyone move. Okay, our second elephant is here. Gonna bring him where the first one is to counter his cavalry. Alright, we have all our pieces in place, so elephants start moving, start flanking them along with this guy. Swords are still on the way, they are taking their time. Guys, you're weirdly angled. You need to pull back a little bit. You too. And uh, shooter, stay where you are. They don't seem to keen attacking our spearmen, so we'll just try to give them a notch by shooting the slinger with our archers, so the whole thing starts moving. Yeah, they're moving. Cavalry moving towards our spearmen, which is obviously horrible for them, because for obvious reasons. And we have our elephants here. So you're gonna absolutely destroy them. Okay, archers, you're way too far out. Get back. We can start moving our flanking force, all these guys. And these guys. Okay, we got his cavalry with our elephants. They're getting absolutely obliterated. This is singers. That's fine. Singers can't do much to elephants. Okay, we won here. One of the elephants, go after his general. Guys, you pull back. Everyone here pull back. Egyptian infantry, that's fine, just absolutely destroy them. And you attack these slingers. You, go after his general. Guys, you're too far out, get, get out of here. This is light cavalry, okay, destroy him, that's fine. Light cav is easy. Right, Nubian Spear is also easy, attack him. You destroy this one. Now, shooters, find me a first pikeman here and start bombing him. We got his general with our elephant, he's not going to last long. You can pile in here and you go behind them. Shooters, you're shooting the pikes, go after pikes. This is another pike, we need to be careful here. Egyptian infantry, okay, attack them, and you go behind them. We have them encircled, excellent. Right, this one's broken, but you go after him. You get to charge in these slingers, and you guys come here. What are we fighting here? Egyptian infantry, that's fine. Now, pikemen are here, so we will need to be very careful. What is this? Egyptian inf, okay, pull back. One sword, go after them. You pull back, you pull back, you pull back. You come back. His general is still alive, but not for long. You guys, charge here. 
Ah, we are losing with four guys against this one spearman. That's how bad the slave infantry is. Right, keep bombing him. You charge here. General dead, but we need to be careful. This is pikeman. Go back. Desert calf, go around him. Elephants, one of you come here, the other one here. Okay, he's showed his back to us. Now charge at him. Shooters, how are we doing? Nubian spear, pikeman, bomb him. You bomb the other one. And you go after him. Ah, we're still fighting this spearman. He's so tough. Not doing too good here either. Right. You attack him. The pike is wavering. Excellent. We basically crushed him. Cavalry, you charge at this stuff. Okay, they are wavering. All of them. Excellent. Elephants, get in here and finish the last pike. This guy is still standing. He's a tough one. You help him out, you switch to him. Okay, this is the last one standing, go after him. All the shooters, switch to melee now, we don't want friendly fire. Let's wipe them out. Alright, so we got close victory here, with a third of our army lost, which is slightly worse number-wise than auto resolve, but as we said before the battle, we would rather lose more from the crappy guys that are cannon fodder anyway, but preserve elephants and cavalry, which we basically did. We lost a little bit of cavalry, but elephant is unharmed. So that was the objective and it was met. Now, guys got away with two units, we made sure not to pursue all of them, so we can have second battle and get more exp from that. So let's do just that. We are going to attack with her only, so she gets all the exp. Wipe them out. Ah, we still lost an elephant here, this is ridiculous. Against what? These guys? Come on. But one elephant is only going to take one turn to replenish, so that's fine. Okay, you come back here. We no longer need her, so gonna disband her. That's 212 gold. And now these rebels over here, they'll be up to 8, and we'll have a garrison of 8 in the Espolis. Not the best garrison, so we should bring him in. And now that we no longer face any threats here in the south, and this fleet doesn't seem to be doing much, we should also disband these two. Between the two of them, we're paying, what, close to 500 in maintenance, in upkeep, and we really struggle with money. So, the three generals who just disbanded save us uh, 700 gold a turn. This is a lot. Okay, you keep stealing their food, you keep administering. Now we have a little bit of money, 3k, what do we want to do with it? Nothing to build here. We could upgrade these guys or save the money and build jeweler instead of this stuff. I actually quite like this. This is plus 2 public order and 80 money. It's much better upgrade than the first level, which is only 30 money and 1 public order. And there's nothing else to build here other than repurposing the temple, but this only makes sense once we no longer need a food edict, bread and games, and can uh, spam the tax collection or tribute collection where we want this to maximize income. So for now, this is the best investment. Still at war? We are? Let's move on. Okay, a home for the afterlife. What is this? A build a pyramid for a noble. Hmm. Right, do we get something after it's built, or are they just like bonuses we get while we are building it? Because this looks pretty awful, right? Plus 10 loyalty, which we don't need, at the cost of negative growth and increased construction cost. So two negatives, no positives. This is slightly less negative, and this is, yeah, just slightly negative. I'm actually curious what happens if we build large pyramid. Are we getting any permanent bonus once it's built? So I'm going to go with this. There isn't that much we're building now, we're up to mostly uh, level 2 buildings already, other than maybe a couple, so this will not add more than maybe a few hundred gold to the bill, but if we can get something nice after these 8 turns, that would be good. We probably get nothing, right? In which case we should go with this, because we don't care about loyalty, we still have very high loyalty and we can just promote a few of them to offset this, but uh, I'm just curious what happens if we build a large pyramid, so I'm going to go with this. It's probably a bad idea, but let's do it. We got the philosophy tech with more public order and taxes, which means we can now switch to military. Yeah, this is very useful. Now, we will eventually want this, but uh, there's no way we spend 20 turns developing it while we have crab stacks operating. Well, in fact, one crab stack. We need better troops. We also really want this for faster research, but again, 
We can't justify spending 15 turns doing nothing basically. Right, we want this. It gives us much better infantry. Like how much better are these guys than the swordsmen? Okay, the guys we have now, 31, 34, defensively 50, 45, 40 morale. These guys, oh, they are so much better overall. It's not even close. They are miles better. Also these archers, right? Pretty good. 50 morale is so much better than the crap we have now, 25. Friends at charge, perhaps we should use that on them. Okay, so we go with this. But on the way, we also want to grab this for ships, because we need level 3 shipyard for artillery ships here, right? Yeah, the level 2 doesn't give us, it's just scorpion, which is crap, and we need this stuff. So we're going to go with this first, and then these three. Okay, is this the time to dispose of these uh, rebels? Also, what do we want to give to this guy? Marksman, missile damage, missile range for archers, that's... Uh... Right, 20% movement bonus is insane, but does this even work if we give it to him? Are we going to move fast farther? Because I think this, is, this one is bugged. We can test it, right? We can give him level 1 promotion and we can see how far we can move with this general next turn. So right now we can move all the way to here, in between these two bushes. We'll see if we can move any farther. I'm pretty sure this is bad, but let's give it a go. So get this, and you get rid of these rebels. What they've got. Uh, mobs, some spears, some... Uh, it's a pile of crap. It's not like we are stronger, but uh, we can see if we can auto-resolve it. If not, we bring the queen to help. Yeah, so we can't auto-resolve it. Retreat, and just bring her in. Attack again. You double time here, and you wipe them out. Wept out. Ah, come on, we lost half of these elephants. What is this? Ah, should have known better. 400 gold. Both leveled up. And look at him. What is this? It's a crocodile hat. It looks amazing. Okay, now that he leveled up, we can give him plus two authority. What is this? Movement speed for all units in desert battles. Morale for all units during ambush in the desert. This almost never happens. Inspire group is not too bad though. Alternatively, to get plus two, we could get either this or this. Unit recruitment cost army only. Like 4% out of like a hundred, uh, 400 gold is like 16 gold. And we are not recruiting every turn. So this is almost irrelevant. I would probably rather get this because the group inspire might be actually quite useful. So go with this. And now that he has 7, we can start spamming gather support every turn. Because we are down to 78%. And... There's a lot to gain, like 10% research, plus 2 public order, 10% tax rate, which is massive, and another 10% morale for all the land units. So absolutely worth doing. Okay, you, do it. Oh, he's not even promoted. Absolutely promote him. Nah, we could have went with something cheaper. He can get uh, plus 1 or 30 from this. Oh well. She also leveled up. Let's get her better replenishment. We need that for the elephants. Now, we want to start recruiting with him, so he should move here and get whatever she needs to get this army in reasonable shape. So move south a little bit. And we have a little bit of money. There's nothing to build here, but we can get a jeweler here. It's minus two public order, but that's fine. This will be offset by this building. So get me this and let's move on. A lost caravan. We want to search for them, of course. These are our people. And we have a son ready to command. Excellent. Macedon destroyed so early, wow. Probably means uh, Sparta is super strong. Right, so we're looking at uh, full, probably a crap stack on transport ships and a fleet of six. Yeah, we'll need to get defenses beefed up here to fight them off. Okay, so you get to Diospolis to improve public order here. Plus 11, nice. You get here. Right, how long this is going to take to repair? This is ready, so good. This is going to take another turn. That's fine, we can wait a turn. Let's provisionally build this and see how much money we've got left. 1500, okay. So we need we need to replace these guys. The rest is fine. We can keep the other guys for timing. So we need seven better units. Probably two of them should be cavalry or three of them should be cavalry. So that leaves space for four infantry units. We have five shooters, although tribesmen are crap. So it would be good to replace them with archers. And the rest should be swords. Is Leopard Warrior better or is Nubian Spear better? Probably this guy, right? 57, 52, 61, 48. They are very close. This might actually even be better. 
but that other guy has frenzy charge. Okay, so let's start with three swords, and that's all we can afford. Okay, that's fine, so just get the swords. Stilt war, we are. Oh, spy leveled up, get more food stolen, and let's move on. Okay, what do we get from this? Negative unit replenishment, but 12 from all sources. This is actually good, we need money. Replenishment is obviously bad, but uh, we have logistics to counter that. Epirus wiped out. Okay, Sparta must be very strong. Sparta or Athen. Okay, so they are moving with the transport fleet alone. This one is not supporting them, which should make for an easy fight for us. We still, by the looks of it, have another turn before we need to hire that admiral, unless we want to recruit some ships too. And what do we do for her? Four more units, huh? Maybe we should get more swords and then two units of cavalry. Nah, we need more cavalry. We need. We only have one. The elephant should be kept in reserve. So we need three units of cavalry and one more swordsman. So get me a sword now and you'll get three cavalry next turn. If we start taxing this one, how much we are making? Nah, 400 gold. That's actually not too bad. But public order won't be able to hunt it long term, so let's not do it just yet. And we'll hire an admiral. Actually, we can hire now, we have some money. We don't actually need a fleet, we just need an admiral. So we can hire, if we are not recruiting, we can get him a Kinidad next turn. And with the two garrison ships, that should be enough to sink like a good chunk of this. And the other guys will just crash with the garrison plus an elephant general, which will also hire next turn. Okay, this one leveled up too, what do we get? We can get uh, more growth or more taxes and public order. Or, oh, research rate well deployed, this is excellent. And experience for new generals, this is also great. Oh, all of this is good. Heavy units recruited in local province. Are the swordsmen heavy or are they medium? Medium. Okay, so we wouldn't benefit until we get the other guys in like 20 odd turns. So there's no point going for this just yet. It would just give us one rank on new generals, which is not that great. Five growth would be nice, but the growth here is already decent, right? We are, we are looking at uh, plus 24. So another five isn't going to make that big of a difference. So perhaps this is the best. 10% research while deployed. This is insanely strong. It's not going to change how much we, how fast we get this, but it should perhaps shed a turn from this, maybe even from this. 110, 120. We'll be just short of shedding a turn from this, but we'll definitely save a turn on this. And if we build a library... Yeah, let's go with this. This is really good. I like it. Okay, so we still have some money left. Over 2k. We should absolutely gather support again. We are now up to 82%, so... Next tier of uh, bonuses is unlocked, and the last one is in 5 turns, if we keep doing this. Just gonna do it once a turn, because the cost goes up every time we press that button. Okay, we can promote her, so let's do that. And before we marry her off though, it would be good to get another politician for this family. Because public order wise, we will eventually need probably four of them. If we have four, we can marry them off and promote them all for plus 16 loyalty. And it's better to hire the fourth one now, when it's only 900. Uh, it would have been even better to get her when it was like 400, but it's too late now. It's better to pay 900 now than like 4,000 or 12,000 in 20 or 40 turns. So let's get her. Still at war, we are. Let's move on. Alright, so what's happening? There's only this one fleet here, the other one didn't move. So we are looking at full crap stack of transport ships. Desert Cav will start on land, so we need to be wary of that. So first of all, let's uh, hire our Admiral. A Akini dad, where are you? There you go. And for Elephant General, we want our son. A money. What he's got. This is decent. Ah, uh, whatever. Plus one authority. It's not horrible. Okay. A public order here is improving nicely. We can get some other buildings with negative public order and we'll be fine. Maybe we overdid with these uh, plus public order buildings. But it's going to worsen once we build more money stuff in here. Okay, and now here. We are getting ready to take Memphis and Alexandria. We need this army to be a proper army, not a crap stack. So you now come here and get... Hmm, we also have these chariots, but they're crap, right? The melee attacks is very poor on them. So which one of these calves is better? This one's way better, right? It's not even close. 14 more weapon damage. Slightly weaker charge and marginally less melee defense, but more health and morale as well. That's way better, okay. Get me three of them, or do we need four? 
We'll transfer five swords and three cavalries. We will get rid of these guys and also get rid of maybe one tribesman. Yeah, we need cavalry. We need three of them. Okay, so nothing we can build here. That's fine. Nothing here either. Let's gather support again. How is our culture looking here? 18% and growing. That's nice. Growing by how much? 1%. So it's gonna take a while. We need temples. We need temples here. But for temples we need population growth to unlock next building slots. Okay. Still at war. We are. Let's move on. Predictably they attacked. So what they've got? 6 units of cavalry. We have enough infantry to hold them off. And enough archers to basically massacre them. And then all this, well actually seven units of cavalry. All this junk will be on transport ships. Let's do it. Okay, it looks like the same they did last time. Fleet split in two, which is good for us. We can deal with this bunch and there's nothing we can do about them. They'll just land. And how about their cavalry? They're all here. Camel spear. Desert Calf, okay, it's uh, six crappy units. Now, our guys are not in the best shape, so we need this elephant to finish the job. You come here, tribesmen behind our guys, but not too close, because they might overflow. Slingers here, I think the last time they almost all went this way. So let's keep this guy in the middle, so if some of them are coming here, we can quickly move him, and if not, we'll join him. Archers, come here. And the other tribes one just uh, squeeze in here. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, they are all going here. So, guys, you spread out. Ships. Our reinforcements have arrived. You ram him. And the two of you go after his admiral. And where's our elephant? Start running after them. Okay, they are all here, excellent. Some of them waited. No, they now move, okay, good. We have a welcome party here. A lot of shooters, a lot of shooters. Yeah, they're getting obliterated. Guys, you were supposed to ram and not get engaged in melee. Just attack him. You go after this one. Admiral sunk, okay, you go after him. We should be able to sink these four, hopefully. I hope our, our guys on land are doing a good job. Can't really focus on that now. We need to sink these guys. You go after him and you go around this. Uh, just do whatever you can to get him. General dead, that's excellent. But by the looks of it, one of our guys is also dead. These guys are just standing here, that's not so smart. You attack this. And you attack this. You go after him. And you run this one. Yeah, one of our infantries has enough. That's fine. You speed up, and you guys speed up. Is he going to land here? It looks like that. Okay, we got this one, go around him. Maybe we can sink another one. Right, all his cavalry is gone before our elephant even arrived here. Excellent. Okay, guys, you go after the stragglers here. Maybe. Ah, this guy landed. Right, General, you land just next to him. You come here and shoot them. Okay, now we need to reorganize. We know the last time they came through here, so you come here. Tribesmen behind him. Archers, you guys can shoot from anywhere, so come here. And slingers, you guys have limited line of sight, so maybe you should be like here. Ah, uh, straight that. Elephant, you'll be flanking them, so you can come here right away. You were supposed to land, come on. Okay, what is here? Arabian Spear, 
traps people more spears right it's basically a big pile of crap the slingers you can land you'll help our guys out And we have everything in place. Excellent. Okay, General. You go after them. Elephants at the ready. Elephants at the ready. The tribes people are the only dangerous unit because if they land a round of javelins on the elephant, they can maybe not wipe him out, but cause him to go berserk, which is never welcome. Archers, what are you doing? We are already shooting the tribes people, excellent. They are losing men fast by the looks of it. Let's not wait with the elephant, let's just crush these guys while we are here. Do you help him out? And shooters, you come after this. Wait, why are you in melee? You were supposed to land too. Get on land. How is this tribes guy? Lost half headcount. They have like 20 morale, they will not last long. Oh, absolute, absolutely massacred. Excellent. Elephant, you dealt with these guys? Okay, go after them now. And you too. Right, you were supposed to land. Why is it so difficult? You go after them. One of our units has used all its ammunition. That's fine, don't worry about it. Pull back. You square. Oh, look at these volleys. Absolute slaughter. Right, there's only 27 of our guys here, so they are not going to hold for long. 26 now. We absolutely need these guys here. Down to 20. Might need to start pulling back soon. They are overflowing. Okay, guys, you retreat. You get back. Yeah, 10 of them left. But the elephant is here. Just charge at this blob. Our guys still fighting. They basically bought us all the time we need. And the elephant should finish the job now. Right, stop shooting. Pull back. Let him do the job. Yeah, look at this. There were like five units here before this charge. Gonna continue and wipe them out. Okay, so it's a really good victory. We wiped them out, only losing 15% of our guys. But why is it not heroic victory? We lost less than 20% and they were mass we were massively outnumbered. It's not quite 2 to 1, but it's over a thousand men more. It's like 70% 70, 70 more of them. So, as far as I'm concerned, this should be a heroic victory. right? If anyone knows why we are not getting heroic victories, let me know in the comments, because this is the second time it happened when we are defending this settlement. Okay, let's uh, release them. Oh, they want to adopt our Amanislo guy. This is the infantry commander general. Ah, 1200. No, we can't afford this. This is our second best general after our queen. We have to pay. Anyone else? Yeah, just pay it. I don't want to give him the best general we have. Yeah, especially that he's rank 7 now. Alright. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.